New polling shows approval ratings are on the decline for President Biden and Vice President Harris ahead of a potential 2024 run. Just 36 percent of voters say they approve of Harris, while Biden's approval rating drops to 41 percent. Even residents in the president's hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, are having their doubts about Biden serving another four years. One local saying, quote, I think it's kind of what he's supposed to do, run again, right? That's really what he's supposed to do. Is there a president that didn't go for a second run at all? Yeah. But who else is there? We need someone fresh. Grace Curley's a fresh face on the political scene, host of the Grace Curley Show, and she joins me now. Grace, great to have you here. Does this pair cross the finish line at the Democratic National Convention as their party's nominee? I think they will. I think it's the most obvious choice, and I don't think any Democrats are really willing to step up against them, aside from maybe Marianne Williamson. Obviously, a lot could change uh, leading up until this primary season. But I will say, when I hear those numbers, when they're in the high 30s, low 40s, my initial thought is, who are those people? Who are the people who are saying, Things are going really well. I'm really happy with this administration. I mean, on all fronts, Joe Biden is struggling. The border, the banks, his own personal problems with his family's alleged influence peddling schemes. I mean, this is an administration that has failed on so many fronts. So when I hear the approval ratings, I can't help but think, who are the people who are giving this administration and these two the thumbs up? You also hear that tone in the folks from Scranton, basically what they think of Scranton Joe's economy. So can he win a general if everything continues the way it is and Americans continue to struggle financially? I would love to say no. I mean, people, people should understand this. I always thought that no matter where you fall politically, if you're not that in tune with what's happening every single day, which a lot of people can't be, that when something affects your wallet, it really does change your mind. When you see it at the grocery store, when you see it at the gas pump, that it really puts things into perspective. And as much as the mainstream media wants you to believe that these things are just happening to Joe Biden, that he's some, some victim of circumstance, you have to hold the leader accountable. You have to look at the guy at the top and say, this has all started happening once you walk into office. So hopefully Americans see that and they vote accordingly. Yeah, if I'm the Republicans, whoever the nominee is, I just say, look at how much it costs to buy groceries. I'll lower that. He raised it. And that should, to your point, should be the deciding factor. But elections are tricky and weird things happen. Meantime, Kamala Harris... Wait for it. Whipping up another word salad in celebration of Women's History Month. Take a listen, Grace. So during Women's History Month, we celebrate and we honor the women who made history throughout history, who saw what could be unburdened by what had been. Grace, I don't like asking questions with two parts, but I absolutely have to hear. Two-parter, mm -hmm. follow-up. When did these women make history, Grace, and was that time every day? It was every day, and they were unburdened by what has been. I mean, this is really, you said this during the, the, during the teaser here, this happens once a week. I would say it happens even more. And when you look at Kamala's approval rating, it's kind of amazing that as VP, someone who's not really out there all that much, when she does get out there, she manages to leave such a mark because of these comments. The craziest part is, Everyone falls victim to a word salad once in a while. I know I have. People in media do it all the time. But to do this all, like every day almost, and the fact that these are prepared remarks, that someone's writing this down, it makes me think that maybe there's a saboteur in her administration, someone who's like purposely trying to throw her off. Because this exact quote I've heard at least 15 times since she's become vice president, the fact that it still keeps getting put into these speeches is really amazing and, and it's kind of head scratching. That is the key point. To your point, just a half an hour ago, I had a little word salad on a question, but that was because I was dealing with a change in circumstance and I had to go, wait for it, a little bit off the mental script that I had prepared. To your point, these are written comments that she has every time she's at a podium. If not, these are comments that she should have thought through because she knows she's going into an interview. She's an entire staff that preps her, yet we keep getting, and it's the same thing. You're right. It's every day. History repeats itself in history. It has to stop. Otherwise, that number is going to dip below 36. I give Grace Curley a much higher approval rating. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it, as always. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.